In this fifth uh, video in the series about bicycle assembly, I will show how to mount uh, bicycle disc brakes. In this particular case we are using uh, mechanical disc brakes, but the system and the principle is the same for hydraulics as well. And also the same goes for both the front and the rear. Uh, here we have a, an adapter onto which the brake calipers will be fitted. This one is marked F160, which means when used as a front uh, mount, it uh, will fit, uh, it will allow the caliper to fit onto a 160 millimeter wide or large disc. There are various types of adapters for various, various uh, sizes of bicycle discs and also uh, many different <coughs> sorry uh, brake systems and these brake systems have their own adapters so it's not always uh, universal but you can usually find a compatible one to fit and first thing to do is to fit the adapter and to place it oriented properly in this case it is marked with an arrow when it is used as a front how to how to place it and to align it and now I will just tighten it. The bolt I'm using is already uh, already has some mounting paste on it, and it should thread in easily. Here I'm just tightening it enough to stay in place, so I can put the other bolt inside. And after placing both bolts, it is the time to place the the disc caliper. There it is just very not tightened by by a large amount by many newton meters. But finally, it, it will all the bolts should be uh, tightened to a proper uh, torque that is specified by the manufacturer. And uh, here I'm demonstrating how you can use your hand if you have good feeling and if it is metal, not carbon components, there is lower risk of damaging anything. So by holding the Allen key halfway uh, and using some decent amount of strength you will not overdo it but it will be firm and nice. Now I will show how to mount the caliper. Here I, I have already unscrewed all the all the bolts for for tuning the, the brake uh, caliper so that it can slide easily and so that I can see whether it is a good fit and uh, here I've just used my hand to hold it in place as if as it would uh, be uh, placed when the mounting bolts are tightened and placed just to see if it is all fitting fine and in this case as you will see it is um, sitting too deep onto the disc so the brake pads will not engage the part of the disc where where the pad should go so what I'm doing here is I will, there are, I've removed the brake mount to show it better on the video but it didn't turn out too great not sure if you can see there are like a v brake for v brake uh, brake pads i'm using those spacers that have uh, one uh, conical uh, washer that fits into the other uh, i will try to show it in this case here not sure if you can see how they fit inside of each other and then they are placed between the mount and the disc brake and of course it is best done when, when the mount is already fixed on the bicycle. Here I'm doing it afterwards but should have done it uh, the other way around and uh, now by checking it it seems that these, uh, the thickness of these uh, uh, pads that I've used, these uh, washers is enough to place the brake pads in the optimal position so they are just aligned with the uh, disc brake surface area and now I'm tightening like I said this should have been done first in the first place and then mounting the caliper onto the, the mount and here it is uh, the, the bolts that are holding the caliper in place are left loose the bolts holding the mount are tightened to a higher torque I don't want any movement there that's a fixed position but now I need to fine-tune the position of the brake caliper I can also play a bit with the brake cable here 
making it tighter or looser that will be fine-tuned in the final stage so here I will remove it loosening it it is best to have the cable loose with no real tension when adjusting brake calipers especially in this initial phase now these calipers are now left with the bolts loose or the bolts that fix the caliper to the mounting post while the mounting post is tightened properly decently to the fork so it doesn't move there because I'm adjusting now just the the brake caliper I want to make it aligned with the disc so there is no rubbing but that it can uh, achieve a proper braking force so here on the inside there is a I will zoom the camera in there's a small like locking nut that keeps the adjustment the big red adjustment nut in place many disc brake systems mechanical have some sort of like this safety locking device for the adjustment of the adjustment setting and now that I've loosened it I now can manage to finely tune and adjust the distance of the calipers sorry not the calipers but the pads from the disc and of, of course also the caliper position here I'm inserting the 5 millimeter allen wrench and uh, this is put on a screwdriver but that, that's the, the interface and I'm now trying to screw and tighten the the distance from the pads to the caliper and so they are holding caliper now fixed in place and now I will tighten both the nuts that hold the caliper in place and see when I after that unscrew the adjustment uh, bolt just a little bit to move the inner pad a bit further away uh, if there will be rubbing of course in this case because these calipers do not allow for any adjustment of the outer pad there will be rub rubbing because the outer pad will be too close to the disc so here I'm unscrewing it and it's just enough to do half a turn or at, ma at maximum one whole turn but that's often too much when adjusting mechanical brakes and here the cable tension is completely loose if there was some cable tension previously and then uh, by loosening uh, the cable tension it would allow me to set the brakes properly so that there is no rubbing on both the uh, outer pad because it's moved away by releasing some cable tension and the inner pad can be adjusted by this convenient method but in this case since I did not provide any cable tension it, that is not possible my calipers are now too close to the to the not no calipers but pads are too close to the uh, disc and they are rubbing now in order to fix this there are special tools for caliper alignment and uh, a do-it-yourself method that I often use is uh, just using an old uh, credit card that often helps uh, to achieve the optimal spacing like I will do in this video so uh, here I'm using uh, credit cards to set the proper spacing of the calipers and uh, it will allow me to to make it uh, at an optimal distance from from both sides uh, this uh, part of the video is not perfectly edited but it shows the principle here on this side that allows adjustments I am uh, using the credit card to to make uh, the proper distance while I'm uh, I've also added some cable tension in order to make the the outer the the outer pad move a bit closer so that it does not allow the caliper to move too much outwards there I'm un unscrewing this uh, cable tension uh, adjustment barrel and I did the same thing on the bottom just to make sure that the outer pad is moved a bit inwards so that there is room after setting it up this way to move it just outwards a little bit by uh, screwing in the barrel adjustment again until there is no no scratching done by the outer pad while the inner pad can be finely tuned using uh, the the adjustment bolt uh, not not the best demonstration 
but uh, I'm uh, here I'm doing some fine tuning now adding a bit of cable tension because I because I want to get the lever to catch the disc brake at some point of travel that is not too far to the bars and I'll probably make another video with just uh, this setup this was not edited very well but I hope you get the idea of all the adjustments that are important and how to test it make sure to do a strong braking test before going out to ride whatever you setup you use